And what's going on? Fontaine here, VIP soundlab.com on machine 2.0. Just wanted to help out a friend of mine. They were asking how to um, route their MIDI channels from machine two into Ableton live nine suite. And he said it was driving him bananas because every time he tried to route, everything was getting mixed up. So I'll tell you what, fam, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get this set up the right way. And like, bam, no time. So, um, the first thing we're going to do, let's jump into uh, machine two. All right, so we jumped into machine two. And as you see here, I just made a quick little um, MIDI pattern. Nothing special, man, just to. Of course, I would never make a beat like that. I'm just doing this for the, you know, saying for the tutorial video. But anyway, all right, we got the, um, the MIDI pattern here. So we want to get this into Ableton and also show you how you can drop the clips in there too. And the best way I can, I can't stress this enough, man, so you don't get confused to understand this properly you know you have to route correctly for it to line up correctly so for example i'm on the grid icon here and you know you can quantize your grid here 16th notes whatever your case may be this grid quantization is different than this grid icon down here this right here is is more or less for like your your tool for painting and stuff like that so um i'm going to go over here to the channel icon this is what's known as the channel icon Okay, and this right here is known as your channel properties. So if you're over here and if you want to do everything one by one, you can, man. But, you know, with the new mixer screen, like why even mess with this anymore? I mean, you could jump over here in the mixer screen. Well, well, when it comes to routing anyway, this basically is a copy of this. So when you jump over here, you know, you have everything you need right here at your fingertips. You know, I hope that makes sense. So, for example, let's go over here and let's set this to external two, we'll set this to external three, and we'll set this to external four. Now I'm gonna explain this to you and why I did that. That I had to do it like that because, oops, you know what? I was over a little too far. This has to be two, this has to be three, and this has to be four. This one goes back to group because we're only using three sounds in the session. So this is the first sound, second sound, and the third sound, okay? It's starting on external two, three, and four, why? because I think this is what's confusing you. EXT1 is currently in use by machine because it defaults because machine is a VST inside of your DAW. So again, EXT1 you cannot use when you're routing because machine is inside of your DAW. It defaults to that. So check it out. Let's get some channels set up in Ableton. So let's close machine for a second here. So I'll use Control Shift T I'm going to make three tracks because I have three uh, tracks inside the machine. Now, this is another hang up you might be getting stuck at. When you when you open up your MIDI tracks inside Ableton Live, these MIDI tracks are not set up to properly route inside of machine yet. You got to do a little housekeeping first. So, for example, if you're, if you're over here and you're under instruments, for example, you also can type it in up here in your search icon. You can type in whatever you need to find the Ableton Live, you'll find it here and it'll pull it up. This external instrument icon, this is what you need, man. Grab this and drop it here. Grab you another one, drop it here, and grab you another one, drop it here. Now, if you don't want to get confused, if you want to rename this, if you want to, you know, put a one there for track one, put a two here for track two, and, you know, Put a three here for track three, you know, if that helps you out. Okay, if your MIDI's from, you want to have these from machine. Every single last one of them. Okay. So your MIDI two icon here, okay. Again, machine two. Okay. Now this little drop down menu opens up here. Don't let that confuse you. Okay. Machine one. That's your first track. Okay. But here's the thing, <laughs> and I think this might have been hanging you up from audio from, okay, see how it starts out on out two? Remember when I was saying machine EXT1 defaults to machine? That's why it's starting on two here. So if that's bugging you out, it's because, you know, and then you might go back here and then switch this to two. No, leave that on one, leave that on one, okay? Again, this right here just means machine. That's, don't, don't even worry about that first one. That first one, that's, that's just, you know, your instance of your VST plugin. Okay, so one machine, audio out, two, boom. 
All right. Well, that would be for the first track anyway. So this one, because I'm on three, I, I just noticed, man, I got this thing highlighted over three. So sorry about that. So let's go ahead and uh, let me change this to three, three. OK, let's go back to one. Let's start over on that. All right. This would be machine. This would be one. I'm sorry. This would be one. This right here again would be the uh, the two out two. So two, three, four. So actually I got to change that too. That's going to be four. I got a little confused here. So you jump on two. You go to machine one. All right. Then you go to two. Then you go to output three. Then on three, there it is three. This will be output four. I'm sorry. All right. So, you know, I got a little thrown off. I started on the third track by mistake. I'm thinking my thing is like right here, highlighting track one. All right. So again, let's review right quick. All right. So track one machine you want to set it to MIDI machine right all right now let's go to the second one machine one meaning track one all right so so VST machine track one out to why because the uh, the ext one is currently in use by machine boom you jump over to two MIDI two what machine what track do we want track two all right so machine track two out what I know you said it right I know you said three right three boom let's go over to track three boom what's this VST right track what boom three right machine track three audio out four boom easy as that man and I could turn this little icon off let's jump over here bring up machine like this okay now you have MIDI channels here too I'm gonna get these uh, I'm gonna get to these in a second but again remember we already we already set this up over here right two three four right so check it out watch what's gonna happen All right, and pretty much from this point, you can get in there and do what you need to do, like adjusting your levels and things of that nature. So as you can see, you can actually even mess with the levels from the mixer right there. All right, so check it out. Another thing I wanted to show you was when you have your channels routed like this, um, you actually you can do your routing here and put it on specific channels as well. Not necessarily having to have it on one specific channel or a group channel, but you know if you want it to, you have that option. So let me go ahead and show you how you do that. Let's say if I wanted this uh, snare on this channel or this kick all on this channel you could basically just route these EXTs to the same or route these external um, outputs into the same uh, output here for example see how it all went on one channel remove this one it goes back over here by itself. Now you know she did the kick and the uh, hi hat on that. So if I take that kick off and put it back where it's supposed to be, you just got the hi hat by itself. See what I mean? Yeah, man. So that's how that works. Now I'm going to show you another feat well let me show you the group feature too because what's going to happen is if you don't have this router correctly all your audio is going to bounce back to machine let me show you that right quick too for example ext1 
Remember when I was telling you EXT1 is currently in use by machine? So that means your group and your master is the same. So check it out. If it, if it was like this. See how now that jumps over to machine? That's EXT1. Or if it was like on group. See, same thing. The only way you're going to get it tracked out, you got to put it on its own separate MIDI channel. And see, the machine turns off. See, that's the way you have to do it. So now I'm going to show you something else right quick. Let's jump over. Let's make some MIDI clips. Okay, remember each MIDI track is tracked out so you can drag and drop audio or MIDI. So if you want your MIDI, you see how it makes this little um, icon here, which basically means just it's, it's taking that audio, I mean that MIDI, and it's rendering it so you can drop it into Ableton like so. Okay, and you get three clips. Okay, so that means you got to go back to machine now because you don't want to play this pattern. So you need like something blank right here, like a little blank scene or whatever with no pattern down here. See how it says pattern none? That's what you want. Okay. All right, and I'll arrange this like this so we get a better view on that. I hope you can see that like that. I'm trying to get it as easy as possible to see all right so basically if you want to get your um, your MIDI over here inside machine to trigger the clips inside of uh, Ableton Live you have to point the MIDI to these clips so it's, it's really easy I mean I mean because if you don't what's gonna happen is it's just gonna play and there won't be nothing at all like you'll hit these clips well let me give you an example like I'll, I'll push play on this clip and you won't get any audio watch see I was just playing and nothing's happening so you don't want that this icon here will reset it go back to machine you don't want that so you want to point the MIDI so right here these are MIDI inputs these are MIDI outputs these are the ones you do not want to mess with in this particular um, situation because that's for sending your MIDI out so we want to trigger these MIDI clips so what you want to do is go over here to where it says MIDI in all change that to one change this guy right here to two and change this guy right here to three why because that's how we assign the MIDI channels over here inside our DAW so it has to match you know it's just like routing audio from Pro Tools or you know Cubase Studio One it, it all works the same you know I can make a million videos on a thousand different DAWs but it still works the same it's just small subtle little details and you pretty much can figure those out on your own man you know then you just turn these little icons on like this okay now what's gonna happen is when I trigger these clips they're gonna play as they should check it out Let's see now everything is playing as it should So, all right, fam, I hope that helps you out. It's your boy Fontaine, VIPSoundLab.com. Be sure to come by the website. We have a VIP membership. It's $9.99. It's a one-time fee. No monthly fees. It locks you in for a lifetime subscription of free drum kits, sounds, sessions, free machine studio, as well as free machine 2.0 tutorials and more. So, with that being said, I'll see you guys on the site. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Need weapons for your lab? Get industry standard professional drum libraries. Free machine tutorials. Machine expansions and more. And more. Keep it locked to www.vipsoundlab.com.